Hi there and welcome to my channel LB Plans. I am L and if you are new here and would like to see more, please be so kind to hit that subscribe button below. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. Today I am planning in my wellness planner, which is in Hobonichi Cousin. I have struggled to find the best use for the weekly pages as I do not want to repeat what is already in my wonderland so I had to play with various layouts if you haven't seen my January flip I will link it above check that video out and you can kind of see how <laughs> I've just been working with the weeklies this layout I tend to complete more um, so this is the winner I think for this month. I start by sectioning off the planner into three main sections. The tops are for my, it's really for my habit tracking, but they are considered to-dos. The middle is a little sketchy right now, so I just like to highlight my work schedule. And I want to leave room for anything um, that I could add later um, inside the column. So I write work in a vertical um, layout. The bottom, um, the biggest section is actually for my mail log and space for daily steps. Um, <clears throat> Sundays are typically uh, for self-care. I don't track meals on Sunday. I don't track water <laughs> on Sunday. I just try to make to-dos that are around self-care and self-love. Um, I felt like the whole week has been probably to task that had nothing to do with me personally. Um, well, that's not true, but <laughs> um, it may have a effect on me, but I want to make sure that I am doing things for me towards the end of the week, kind of my Sunday reset to get started. I'm using the sidebar to highlight my goals for the week. Um, this includes like cardio, uh, workout goals, uh, reading, tracker, I have a fiber tracker. Um, I also like to include a little reminders like for this week, I'm not eating dinner after 7 p.m. <laughs> um, I've, I've had a couple days where um, I eat late and my mornings are not the best. So. And that's the beauty of having planners. You start seeing what you did the previous day, and then you can make adjustments. So eating past seven is no bueno for me. And also a reminder that my cycle will be coming towards the end of this week. I know that's TMI, but you'll be surprised how certain activities with your body can impact your physical journey or your weight loss journey or your healthy lifestyle journey. Um, I already know that I can be, um, the scale won't be very kind <laughs> this week and that's okay because typically, um, during the start of my cycle, there's a lot of water retention, so it's never kind to me, but that's okay. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can slack off. So I just keep that in mind. So when that Sunday comes and I get on that scale and it, it doesn't look favorable. I know why, that there's other factors that are playing a part. January has taught me that lifting was not my jam. <laughs> I tried to lift three times a week, um, and I or I tried to find exercises that um, use dumbbells or some type of free-handed weight. And, you know, it wasn't that I didn't, enjoy them or didn't uh, work out it was just not the thing for me and um, because I didn't enjoy it per se I didn't complete it as much or I would do the minimum or if I'm gonna be completely transparent I would just you know do enough to say I did it basically so keeping myself honest to my goals for 2023 I found that my job had offered some useful services through my benefits um, Groker is one of them it is a platform or an app that um, has exercise programs and when I say programs like 
it has a complete different like range of programs available so I like to go and find the old toning program that would work for me so I did find one that fit my three times a week schedule and it lasts for four weeks and so that'll start on Monday I'm super excited for that um, I'm hoping <laughs> the switch will help me obtain results because like I said, I'm aware that I haven't been doing my best on the, on the lifting because it just wasn't my jam. But still, I urge you to ask if there are any programs available that you can be part of, um, even if it's part of your employer benefits or health care benefits. Um, you'll be surprised of the incentives that are associated with either your health care plan or um, as an employee. Um, <laughs> I've been in health care <laughs> administration for this is my 23rd year. People do not use their benefits and sadly I am one so I am taking advantage of everything that is available to me. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed my little chatty patty playing with me. Um, I hope this was helpful for someone. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. Until next video, please take care of yourself. Bye.
Thank you.